Hey guys, Jinlux here, back with our newly blind playthrough of Morin. Last time we started fighting some... Not clockwork creatures, but whatever they are. Um... What am I supposed to do? Right, there's a cult. Speak with them in the Great Bazaar. Okay, let's go to the Great Bazaar. Reconstituted creatures? I don't know. It, it's... I think the goal was to have them fight the dwarven ones, the Dwemer, because they look different, right? These are more hybrid of organic and machine. Maybe that's her. Marilyn Othan. Look for her in the bazaar. Great. Just that. We'll probably have to ask about her. Excuse me, please. Not you. A good man is hard. Uh, you always get the other kind. Most women aren't looking for good men, though. Hello, Nord. No time to talk, I'm afraid. There's much work to be done. Yes, much to do. No time for silly fancies like drinking, dancing. Oh, but what I wouldn't give to meet someone new. Uh, yes, that's right. Believe it or not, I had no intention of working here when I came to Mournhold. It's quite a sob story. Are you sure you want to hear it? Uh, I guess. Well, it's mostly my fault, really. I grew up in a small village in the south of Morrowind. They cared for me a great deal and only wanted the best for me. But when they arranged my marriage to a wealthy nobleman, I couldn't take it. He was disgusting, and I wanted nothing to do with him, so I ran away and ended up here in Mornhold. I was convinced I'd be able to find the man of my dreams, only it hasn't worked out that way. Go on. What a silly girl. I've no time for this foolishness. I mean... That's... Anyway... I was foolish about it, to be sure. I never considered I'd need money to survive on my own. Yep. I was determined, though, not to go crawling back to the village and beg forgiveness from my parents and that loathsome man. I'd make it on my own, and only then would I con contact my parents and let them know where I was. So I started working, and now it's all I do. I never have time to meet anyone. Sigh. Let me know if you meet any nice single men, will you? Um... Thing is, though, you don't deserve a nice single man because you're a silly girl. You're, I was going to say silly fool, but silly girl, whatever, right? She's around here somewhere. Check over the west end. Okay. This is the west end. Are you one of these people? The show is late. I wonder why. Oh, it's I wish a, they would start. Speak freely. Oh, it's a show. Okay. I, you know, the thing is, though, whatever her name is, she's not totally lost. If she can learn from that experience, then that's, then that's good. But it's, uh, you know, maybe it's her. No. This is the West End. Did they mean East? Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I figured that wasn't you, but... Is it you? Yes. Greetings, how may I help you? Tell me about... I guess found dead? Yes, my brother was found dead not long ago. I think it was poison probably given to him by Eno Romari of those sick end-of-times lunatics. A lunatic, Loxley. You'll often find him outside the winged guar, spouting his nonsense to passerby and to the drunks stumbling out of the tavern. They are a suicide cult, plain and simple. Their beliefs are destructive, heretical, and frightening to me. I don't know how my brother ever got involved with them. You're getting to see them all over the city, but you'll most often find them in God's Reach, outside the Winged Guar. They preach the tribunal have lost their powers, and this is a signal the apocalypse is near. He teaches his followers our time in Tamriel is at an end, and the gates of oblivion will soon open and the Daedra will walk the land. Only the ancestors who have already left this world will remain once the Daedric Scourge covers the earth. And so he promotes what he calls the cleansing. 
It's a ritual suicide, Loxley. My brother was no fool, but he was a trusting person, always looking for someone or something to believe in. He thought he had found that in the end of times. Okay. Good to know. So, what does she want us to do about him? Uh, uh, huh. She didn't specifically say what she wants done, though, I don't think. Uh. I guess we just go talk to him and find out what the deal is. Maybe ask to join. Wait, how do we get to, um... Oh, I guess we go this way. Alright. Oh. Right on, dude. Fabricants, that's what they're called. Alright, winged guar. Thrud. I don't... I'm guessing that's him. Yep. I don't know, the thing about arranged marriages, right, is... Yes. They suck. You, you know, I don't know, it's... Look, everything's a trade-off. That's what... I always kind of feel like I'm... You know, the more I learn, the more foolish I was previously, right? Um, that's kind of how I feel, but... Everything's a trade-off. It's... Um... Women used to be in arranged marriages, and yet at the same time, their marriages would last, right? So they're like, well, no, we want to be able to choose. Okay, now you're choosing, and marriage rates are crap. Divorces are high, like 60 or 75% of the time they end in divorce, right? Um, and they're not happy most of the time. And And the thing is, it used to be... You used to not marry for love. You used to marry for it was more of like a like a business deal, right? It was you take care of me, I'll take care of you, we'll take care of each other. It, you know, it's becoming a team and then love develops from that. These days they want to do it kind of backwards. Um I I don't know. It's like I said, it's it's a trade-off, right? You you get the ability to pick for yourself, but now you're now you have to pick. Now you have to pick. You have to be the one that finds the right person, and they're not. And they're not even looking for the right criteria. And and worse, they're making their own money now. So they used to depend on a dude for basically resources. Um, but now that looks they have resources themselves, they're looking for emotions, and emotions are fragile and temporary, you know? They want that excitement, but excitement fades over time, you know? Mm-hmm. Talk to me, dude. Greetings and blessings upon you. I am Eno Romari. How may I help you in your journey through this life? Interesting, right? How may I ease your mind? I guess I will ask you about... Uh, the end of times. We are a peaceful group dedicated to relieving the suffering of all our feeling in these troubled times. I teach my followers the way to enlightenment through understanding of what is happening in our world and what is to come in the next. All of my people know the importance of preparedness for the coming troubles, and many are willing to make great sacrifice for our cause. What are your beliefs? 
Our beliefs are very simple, dear friend. The Blessed Tribunal, though once filled with glory, are no longer the gods they once were. As with the tides of and Tamriel's moons, all cosmic powers will wax and wane. But when gods die, it creates ripples throughout the lands. The passing of the three will be a prelude to the end of this era and the beginning of the next. The followers of the end of times are making ourselves ready for this to happen. It's kind of funny because that was what Oblivion was. Like, the gates of Oblivion are opening and, and all that stuff, right? We realize the end of the era will bring many changes. We believe the gates of Oblivion will open and the multitude of Daedra will roam the world freely. Some might tell you this is a good thing that we are descended from the Daedra and it will be a return to the natural order of things. I know differently, though. The coming age will be a time of great horror. The Daedra princes are not our ancestors, nor are they our allies. They will wash over the land, destroying all that man and mare have built over these, built over these thousands of years. The only protection from this scourge will be our true ancestors that have gone before us and watch over us even now. Many of our followers choose to participate in the cleansing to prepare the way for the rest of us. It is a sacrifice, to be sure, but is for the greater good. It is a glorious ritual, friend Loxley. Our followers cleanse themselves of all their troubles, all their burdens here on this earth. They send themselves ahead of the ancestors spreading our word, making ready for when we shall all join them in our fight against the Daedric Hordes. Interesting. So what else do I need to ask him about? Dunmer? I'm a priest. Okay. Um. Hmm. Lays rumors. Would you believe it? Even after the trouble in the plaza, the horror of Castle Zir is still going on. It's playing in the west of God's Reach near the palace. It's the right thing to do, though. Life must go on. Yep, imagine ordinators with bodies, souls, armor, and weapons personally blessed and fortified by Almalexia. Okay. Uh, we've asked about making ourselves ready. Okay, I think that's it. God grant you justice, Sarah. Thank you. Okay, I've spoken to Anno Romari about the end of time's cult. They believe the power of the tribunal is faltering. New, age, new and frightening age is coming to all of Tamriel. Told me more about his end of time group. Tells me many of his many of his followers are performing a ritual called the cleansing, which is a form of ritual suicide. I should report this information to Almalexia immediately. But uh, again, you didn't. I mean, he told me, but I got it from the sister before that. Ah, it's just kind of sloppy. It. I don't know. It's very odd. City of light. City of magic. What may I do for you, my child? All right. What have you learned about this end of times cult and their beliefs? Have you served me well in gathering this information? They will not continue to exist in my city. They would dare. So the tribunal has lost its power, has it? These fools would dare question Almalexia's power here in her city. I will give them a lesson in power. Loxley, and you will be my agent. These fools must be reminded of the true power of a god. Since the attack on the city, much of my own power has been spent caring for my people. The number of wounded has been astronomical, and caring for them all has been taxing to even me. Still, I must demonstrate to these people what it is to mock the will of a god. You will travel to the ruins of Bam Zamshen and activate the Karstang's Bacharn. Okay. Couple things. First... I mean... It, this is like, they're telling, not showing. And I realize they're, you know, the technology is not there, but... You know, there's got to be a way you could show me. And, and now, the problem is these are individual quests. It's not a, it's not an overarching narrative. You know what I mean? There's, you need time to develop your feeling about it. They, I, I don't know. I don't know. It's just, yeah. Anyway. 
loosely translated the Weather Witch. At its height, the Dwemer civilization was masterful in the use of machinery. In a time of drought, Dwemer scholars were commissioned to create a machine that would bring rain to their lands. They created the Karshang Bishkarn. Its existence was little more than a myth until recently, when the ruins opened beneath my city. I wish for you to activate this machine and make it to create ash storms in Mournhold. Then these heretics will know the power of Almalexia. Isn't that going to, uh... Create blight diseases? That's correct. While these storms may be common on the island of Vardenfeld, they do not occur here, so far removed from the Red Mountain. Now, though, they will, and these heretics will understand the power of the tribunal. Won't they just be like, it's a sign, it's another sign? The power of Almalexia. Take this and use it to activate the machine. You'll have to divine its workings on your own, Loxley, but I believe you are up to the task. Powered Dwemer Coherer. Alright. Amalexia would like to demonstrate her power by creating ash storms throughout the city of Mornhold. Her powers, however, have been expended by caring for her people after the attack on the city. She would like me to travel to Bam's Amshend, activate Karsang's Bakarn, whatever, however you pronounce it. Said to be able to control the weather. Okay. Oh, no. Well, there is the infirmary, but... Wait, where am I going? This way. Uh... So it's... Wait, hang on. Uh... Mm-hmm. Where is it again? It was underneath that thing, right? Can help. I'd be happy to talk. Oh, I have no more jobs for you. Almalexia has informed me you may report to her directly. Must be going crazy talking to myself. Yeah, I mean he said it was she said it was down there. Yeah, I don't know, man. It's it's interesting, right? Because again, reading that that polygon thing with all the with all the the people. It was sort of like a group interview. They had all these like quotes. Like one person says this and then another person's like this. So I don't know if they just got them all in together and just transcribed what they were all saying. Oh, wait a minute. No, I'm in the right place. Can I go down here? Oh, that's, there's the head. That's funny. Um, Alexi's head, I mean. Alright, so which which way is it? But it's it's interesting, right? Because Todd wanted um Are we getting attacked? Probably Hall of Winds, I would imagine. Oh we are. Oh come on. Yeah, no, uh, no bolts. Oh, so they're back. But Todd wanted, um... He wanted more polygons. He's like, he just wanted to bump up the graphics, basically. I mean, he said they they were very appreciative they're like oh he he has this instinct for he knows what works you know and i think he was the one that wanted it to be on xbox as well 
everyone else was like, no, it won't do well on Xbox. And he was like, no, no, it'll, it'll do well. Heavy Dwemer door. They said they found it, but they won't, like, tell me where it is. Oh, come on. Dwarven darts, we're gonna take them. All right. Centurion Sphere, okay. So, I don't know, I wonder if we got a bunch of stuff. I'm looking at whatever that thing is on the ground over there. Ash pile. Huh. Like, I wonder if I'm gonna need ash. Oh, we got a bunch of Dwemer stuff. Short sword. Got books. Oh, spoiled Dwemer oil. You drink it? Fortify acrobatics. I know I used to be all about checking every pot and all that stuff, but I'm just kind of like, eh. Dwemer boots. Pauldron, old Dwemer book. See, that sounds interesting, but I'm just kind of like, I don't know, I'm just sort of blasé. Is that a word? I think it is a word. I don't know if I'm using it properly. Maybe it's, okay. Maybe it's not in here. Old Dwemer book, but there's another one. Written in an unknown Dwemer language. From the schematics, it appears to be a manual on pipe fitting. Uh, so my thought, I, I came back in here to look at the book because I was like... My thought was... Do I need to read this? Manual on machinery maintenance. Is it gonna tell me the solution to the puzzle basically you know what I mean cog replacement and maintenance okay iron bolt dwarven crossbow hearth fire hall what are all these things the tapestries or whatever Short blade skill increased, that is good. Steam Centurion. All of Wales. Hmm. Why? It was like, well, presumably they were standing guard there when they got, when all the Dwemer disappeared. I would imagine, right? They just dropped their gear. Maybe some of them became ash. I don't know. Redax Forge. Uh, I guess we'll go... 
We need to find this machine, right? That's the... I don't know, the point about the Todd thing was I'm just, you know... Morrowind was... Apparently Daggerfall was more of a... Um, maybe more like the other ones. Maybe more like Oblivion and Skyrim where it's just something to tool around in. You know? Whereas Morrowind is one that actually has... Oh, uh, okay, that's what it looks like. Because remember, we found all the pieces disassembled, so it makes sense they were, you know, putting it together. Old Dwemer book, fabricating metals, machina power consumption, scrap metal. Oh, that's the hand. Okay. Oh, hey, buddy. So, I don't know, Morrowind might be unique in that regard. I, I know people online were like, oh, no, after Morrowind, the rot set in, and I'm just like, I think Morrowind might be the... If they were just trying to make games that you, you could tool around in, oh, let me play with this system, let me play with that system, whatever. Um, then that's cool, but... It's, again, it's like saying Final Fantasy VII, it's not about... I gotta open this. It's not about the... The gameplay is key, uh, but... I guess I picked the lock as well, or I should. I was going to use my... There we go. Mm. Okay. The worst part is, I bet we need those. Let's take them. We'll put them on the dude's body back in, uh, back in, um, Balmora. But yeah, I guess I guess my point is maybe Oh hey buddy. Maybe Morrowind was the fluke because it was I mean it definitely was the fluke because it was all the others seem to be Western looking RPGs, right? Oh really? Oh, oh, yeah, I saw the. Do I need to place another one? Oh, okay. That's a, it's a butt clenching question right there. Okay, well, I can get back, right? Maybe not. Oh, well, sort of. I bet you can. You just have to... Well, hang on. Do I want to click on the... 
There you go. You just gotta get closer. So it's fine. But yeah, I'm, I know I'm rambling and I'm losing my focus and stuff, but I think, I think Morrowind might be unique in that the story becomes crucial, you know? Norend and Dur. Yeah, let's... Do I need to be searching for these things? Is, is that the deal? I wonder how far away you need to be. Arg. Yay. I bet you can use another one there and I wouldn't mind having, you know, more satchel charges, you know what I'm saying? Like opening these up. Okay, Ebony. A Dwemer shield. Axe of some kind. Emerald. Ah, we'll take, we'll take the emerald. Wonder if it was doing some attack. Oh, is there another one? Hmm. Maybe not. See, this doesn't even look good. I'm sorry, it's like it... The other spheres are believable. They collapse into themselves. This is like... You're expecting me that thing pops out and it fits inside this? I don't... I don't buy it. Hmm. Maybe there are only a couple. King's Walk. Man, presumably. Okay, well. I know the little spiders use poison, but I really don't want to be shot with arrows while I'm fricking or darts. Okay. Why does it sound like we're underwater here? Well, I guess that would potentially be why. There's still something out there. See, ash pile, like... I don't really like that because it's... You're basically saying... You know, a bunch of these dudes were... Were just... They were killed. There's still there he is. Um hmm. Is this one of the advanced ones? Okay. Water. Okay. I thought it was oil for a second. I was like... Well, that would definitely... This room would be filled, though. Yeah, I can see one of the things is busted. Skybreak Gallery. Alright, this seems like where we... That seems like the machine. It's just funny that it's growling like this while we're, you know, the the growling is it makes me smile a little bit. All 
All right, well, first... Okay, so we are presumably expected to go down there. Let's... I see more of these dudes, though, so let's wipe them out first. Uh, we have switches. Let's hope this isn't too bad. Well, right. First, we have to presumably place the powered thing. Right, Dwarven Claymore, several ash piles. Why are, why are some leaving? Oh, actually, this explains a lot. The water's coming in here. That's why it's not flooded. All right, well, we have to place the coherer somewhere. And, uh, cannot be used until the machine is powered on. All right, so... How... How do we do that? It's nice for there to be a... Wait, hang on. What's this over here? Oh, crap. Jiminy Crickets! There we go. Nice for there to be, like, rock steps that come out, you know? Oh, come on. I, okay, so we can't do anything with that. How do we power this thing? She gave us a freaking... Like a slot or something? I mean, I really hope it's not somewhere else. That would make me sad. Um, see, that's really weird. Can't use. Oh, here we go. Dwemer junction box. Place the Dwemer cohere in the junction box. And ah, man, I'd almost rather not do this because it takes the mystery away, you know. And that's actually something they wanted about, say, Dagoth Ur and the story. They wanted conflicting things you never really understood. And then I kind of like these Dwemer artifacts, like people have. Dwemer coins, but maybe there's something else that Dwemer coherer, and it's this weird thing. And you're like, what the hell does this do? You know, this kind of takes some of the magic away. It's like put the thing in the thing. It's like, oh, okay. Journal updated. Really, it just sticks out like that. May not be removed from the power box. Okay. Oh, you pick what kind of weather you want. So it's this one spins it, I guess, and then Okay, but that's Oh. Okay, found it, and I will. I was able to activate it from deep within these ruins. It will be difficult to tell what effect it has had on the city above. Right. I mean, I. Okay. What happens if I push this back? It goes back the other way. So, right. I, that looks like rain. I don't know. I assume it's that one. Volcano, right? Lightning. Looks like solar eclipse, maybe. I don't know. Meteor storm. 
Let's save here. I assume the middle one activates it, and they probably just go left and right. That would be my guess. I would also assume my journal would just update when I pick the right one, so... What does this one do? Journal updated. Uh, if I understand the Dwemer symbols, I believe the machine is now causing ash storms in Mournhold. Oh. I just have to pick the right lever? That's all? Uh, okay. They're like, oh, you're able to figure it out. It's like, uh, all right. It's kind of disappointing, <laughs> kind of disappointing. All right, let's recall, I guess. Okay. It looks like... I told him so. Well, it is starting to change the weather. Turning red. Yep, there we go. Ash storms. I imagine it was... I imagine it'll drive more people to the... And the fact that they're basically like, yeah, just go report to Almalexia. That's... Guess. What may I do for you, my child? Okay, in my wisdom I've sent you to activate. Tell me you've accomplished this task for your goddess. She should know though, right? Well done, Luxley. This is the effect I was looking for. Ash storms and mournhold. My magic will prevent anyone from further tampering with this, with this machine. You will, of course, keep silent about this. My powers are a bit drained, mortal. They are not gone. My ordinators will take care of the remains of this end of times cult and their leader. You have done well. Journal updated. Creating the weather just as I had hoped. It will remain this way until I'm satisfied these people have learned a lesson. Yeah. Okay, what next? Uh, she's pleased with the ashrams created by the Karstangs Bracharn. The city of Mournhold is strangled by the harsh weather. Decorative trees lining the city streets are dying and the people are frightened. I can only hope the goddess does not allow this to go on for long. What now? I'm well pleased, good and faithful servant. My people look upon the elements and see there written a divine testament to my lordship. Did any ever, did ever any other god display such dominion over the earth and sky? But now, with a heavy heart, I must lay a sad burden upon you. I bid you bring the peace of understanding to my missing hand. One of my most faithful guards, one of my very own hell, hands of Almalexia, pledged to honor and protect me and serve me in all ways, has lost his mind. Salas Velour has abandoned me and now spews vile and slanderous untruths about me to any who would listen. So he's just telling people what's going on, yeah. I pity him and know he is not responsible for his actions. To view the splendor of a god may drive even the strongest mortal mad, but now he presents a threat to us and he is very dangerous. I fear you may not be able to spare his life. Now Salas Valor haunts the streets and sewers of Mournhold. He, his wild, distracted manner frightens the people, but even my ordinators are afraid to confront so terrible a weapon master and war wizard. I beg you, seek out Salas Valor, relieve us of this threat to my beloved people, and bring peace to my sacred city of Mournhold. He was once my most trusted hand and faithful servant, but recently his behavior has been erratic. He has been quiet and unresponsive. I am afraid I may have allowed him to come too close. It is impossible that a mortal and god might meet on equal ground, but perhaps he had deluded himself. I regret his lamentable state, and I'm sorry I may, not have, I may have been partly responsible for his condition. Um, okay, so where is he? Just in the streets and sewers, huh? Send me to deal with Sal's lore. Uh, I may not be able to spare his life. What about these guys? We await the goddess's command. Her word is our law. There is no time to speak with the likes of you. Okay. All right. I clean this if temple. If your so words can help, mind I'd be you happy keep to talk. It that way. Uh, I cannot ask about Solace Valor. Okay. So are they not gonna tell me where I can find the dude? Just oh, you know, search the streets. Wait, what about the regular ordinators?
Uh, no. Okay. Hmm. No. Yes, this weather is odd. Put trust in the lady. All will be well. Okay. Hmm. I clean this. Table, Whatever you want. No one. No one wants to tell me. It's another perfect day in Mornhold. Indeed. Of course. What may I do for you? Aha! They did say that. If you're facing into the wind, you put your hand up. If you're facing away, you put it down. That's cool. See? She's doing it too. Alright, um... So I just have to wander around until I find this mf -er. Is that what you're saying? Because that's the other thing, it's like, at least in the main game, you could ask people. They're like, go find this dude, and you're like, okay, well, I'll ask people until I find him. Really? Say your piece, Churl, and be done. Ashstorm's here in the city? How could this happen? This isn't Vardenfell. Something must be done quickly. It is weird there's a Dwemer ruin here as well. I mean, I guess it's not unheard of that there's dwarven stuff, but yeah. I I would say he's probably going to be in the si uh, in the sewers. That would be my guess. Let's try the royal guard. Maybe they'll know. Maybe you. Maybe this dude in the fountain. Uh. Because I figured, I figured they, you know, they're competing, right? So they, they'd be like, "Oh yeah, you're, you're gonna take him on." Okay, good luck. Here he is. Why am I being texted? Um. All right. Well, we'll do. Let's look up where he is, because I'm, I'm not super into. What is this? Uh, okay. That's fine. Why is it telling me about this? I don't care. It's like your your alerts are off. I know this. I don't need to know. I don't want to get. I want. I don't want to get those amber alerts. I don't care. I mean, of course, I care in a philosophical sense, but. but. Salus. Salus Valor location. Dark Elf Crusader, former Hand of Almalexia, be found in God's Reach. Okay. Yeah, they just said streets and sewers, like... Vague. That dude is still there. They said they'd take care of him. Uh, alright. What about you? No. That's not him, right? Nope. Hi, Ordinator. But you have different... No, your legs are the same. Alright, where... Uh, 
Okay, where is he? It said he can be found in God's reach where his presence hasn't gone unnoticed. Well, where is he? Is that him? Yes. Okay. Wonderful. So what's the deal? We can talk to him at least. So, you're her new dog. Yeah, kind of. So, she has sent you for me. Now you are her favorite. How convenient. Whichever of us dies, she'll be well pleased. And if both of us die, so much the better. Well, I'm content. Perhaps this is how it was meant to be, or meant to end. I ask the forgiveness of all the gods and spirits, whoever they may be, and you too might make your peace with your gods, because at least one of us will not live to see another sunset. Your journal has been updated. You will suffer greatly. Let me, um, hmm. Okay, he's got... Oh, shit. Oh, wow. Okay, well... Poison bad. In the meantime, I think I have a cure point. There, let's use this. Okay, bam. I wonder if I used one of the Magicka ones. I think that's what happened. Oh well. Uh, restore health, we use one of these. And one of these. Am I paralyzed? Absorb attribute. Oh no. Well, that explains a lot actually. Uh-huh. Oh, I bet it reflected. I'm holding forward so I can get close to the MFR, but I bet that I bet the poison reflected and hit me and that's why I was Oh, he's healing, the son of a bitch. Okay, well, that's, I mean, that's cool, but... Oh, it's, uh... Presumably that's why she gave me that skill, like restore stats. Well, you probably need the agility, but that's okay. Oh, there you go. Oh, it knocked me down, you son of a bitch. Journal updated. He's got all kinds of cool stuff on him. Uh, but first... Hang on, we'll take Keening off. What is this? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, so that is... We're restored, everything is restored. Generation. And where's the life ring? We use all of these. I'm gonna pick up all his gear. Can I wear it? What happens if I wear it? That's ah, okay.
All right, so her darts. Wow. Her ebony scimitar. Oh yeah, so this is all her stuff, yep. Uh, let's see, it does a lot of, well, it's an ebony, it's a, a scimitar. I don't think we've seen those yet at all. Frost damage absorbs strength. Uh, cast when strike, damage strength, damage fatigue. Jesus Christ, look at these. Her hands boots. These are all weight 90, weight 45, reflect, there you go. Fortify strength, resist poison. No, maybe he used one of these. Maybe the poison, I don't know if the poison just, he got resisted or he re resisted it or whatever. I don't know. Um, okay, well, we'll take all of it. We'll try and... Oh, yeah. You're over encumbered. You don't say. <laughs> all right. All right. Um, hmm. This would be where you use Sujama. Oh, is the mead still in effect? Yeah, but I think it's wearing off. Strength 30. Yeah, see, it's wearing off. It's at 500. Well, let's try one. Uh, we'll use a Sujama because it's strength 50. Not enough. That's funny. Transport? Yes. Yes. Alright, next, um... I think it's this one, right? Nope, it's the other one. I... Oh, that wasn't enough. Crap. Okay, well... We are going to take the boat to Hlaod, go to Balmora, and then we'll we'll use up the Sujam and the Mead. We'll toss this stuff on the. You flatter me with your attention, Outlander. Okay. Alright, so Sujama, bam, mead, bam. Oh, I guess we should, um... Yeah, restore all of his stuff, too. But yeah, we'll throw it all in the body. Ah, pulled out a torch. Then... And I mean, yeah, that's heavy also, so we'll put that over there. Sure, the darts. Oh, well, yeah, we have a ton of dwarven darts. Dwarven shock darts. Rule of shard error, okay. Okay, he's putting on some of the stuff, but not most of it, which I think is interesting. Let's, that's everything, right? So I wanna go to, we'll sell all the bolts, and then I need more Sujama. Share your thoughts, friend, I enjoy the company. I could have sworn somewhere I was reading online and they said something about 
you know, the Centurions, if you wear their armor, they'll attack you. Which probably explains why that dude was like, yeah, I'll give you some of the armor, just don't wear it in the city, in Vivek City. Oh, and the cruel shard arrow as well. Six of five. Okay. All right, we'll get here. I wonder if you could stack multiple things of in pleasant company. Please share your thoughts. Multiple things of Sujama. It's probably well. I don't know. Here we go. Give me two. Let's see if we could do that. Awesome. Then I guess we recall, right? Because we got rid of the stuff. Okay. Then we'll go back to Almalexia. Did he damage my strength that much? Oh, maybe he did. Okay, well, agility. Okay, and then strong again. We'll do this three times, I don't know. Yeah, okay, that was, that was good enough. Because I think it was 79, I don't completely remember, but, you know. Well, we'll, we'll stop here. Uh, put on the life ring real fast. Then put Keening back on, bam! Hmm. Strange. Oh, the stuff must have worn off, I guess. Anyway, that's it for today, guys. Thank you guys so much for your time and attention. Really do appreciate it. Really hope you guys are enjoying these episodes. Uh, you know, as always, guys, questions, comments, concerns, good, bad, or indifferent. Let me hear them. I do read all of them. I do try and respond to all of them as well. What is your guys' unique pause moment for today? For me, I'm going to say that Polygon article or, or transcript or whatever, because it was really interesting reading about how miserable the development of Morrowind was. And uh, it was their first shot, but also their last shot. So they're like, we're going to we're going to go all out and make this crazy game. Um, and it, it paid off, although strangely it was I don't know I think it was their peak which is sad I, I haven't played Daggerfall or Arena or they said Redguard had sort of a the same narrative structure as Morrowind so that might actually be worth checking out all the all these little things that all affect the main quest or whatever but um yeah I don't know but that's my unique puzzle moment Hopefully your guys just as good, if not better. Hopefully better, of course. And I hope to see you guys next time. Till then, guys, take care.